Hello, yogis. Welcome to this short 10 minute restorative yoga practice. And this is a yoga practice for a broken heart. So if you are going through a broken heart right now, a breakup, divorce, loss, anything like that, this practice is for you. What we're gonna be using for this practice today is a bolster or a cushion. So if you don't have a bolster in your house, a pillow is perfect as well. And we're also gonna use some yoga blocks. So to start off, I wanna invite you to just take your yoga blocks and place them on the lowest height on either side of your yoga mat. And then just bring your body towards the base of the bolster. Start to recline your spine down. Allow the blocks to be underneath the knees. Bring the soles of feet together. Close the eyes and just take deep breaths in and out. So this is butterfly pose with a heart opener. And so many of us live with our hearts closed. Whether emotionally our hearts have been shut off, maybe physically they've been shut off, a heart opener pose with a bolster or a pillow underneath you can really help to counter that forward folding action that we have every single day. Let's take about 10 more deep breaths in this shape. After the 10th breath, just lift all the way up so you can lift off of this bolster and slide the bolster all the way towards the side. And then just bring your body all the way down onto the mat. You can bring your knees into your chest, give your body a nice little hug. and then plant the soles of the feet on the mat. And let's do some heart opening shapes. So we're gonna breathe in and just press through the feet and lift the hips all the way up. And then when you exhale, slowly lower all the way down. So this is bridge pose and we're gonna get into a rhythm of moving with our breath. Now, typically a restorative yoga class won't have this much movement, but we're just gonna do a little bit of it here. Thank you. 
Let's just do two more movements with our breath. And then lift all the way up. And maybe you roll the shoulder blades under, interlacing the palms. We're just gonna hold in our bridge for a few rounds of breath. and release the hands and slowly lower all the way down. Hips will land last. And you could bring the knees into the chest and give your body a nice soft and sweet little hug. And then make your way all the way up through cross legs. We're gonna move all the way over onto the hands and the knees, and I'm just gonna move my yoga blocks so that they're in front of me. So bring your body all the way down and then press the elbows onto the blocks and start to shift the hips back in space, resting your forehead. This is called puppy pose and you could lift your arms up overhead, high-fiving the hands together, seeing how that feels. Let's take one more round of breath. And just slowly come all the way up. And let's bring our arms all the way back and start to come all the way forward into a child's pose. So we've done a series of different heart openers that are gonna help you expand and create space and open up. And now we're gonna counter all of that with a child's pose to go inward. To heal. To hold space for yourself.
just allow any emotions or anything you're feeling to show up, to arise. Hold space for it. Stay where we are for just a few more breaths. And then slowly make your way all the way up to a seated shape. your body into a cross-legged shape. Bringing your palms to rest on your lap, closing the eyes. Just lengthen up through the shoulders. Soften them down the back and maybe place one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. Just remind yourself that you are whole. You are complete. yourself permission to feel everything you're feeling knowing that everything will pass in life you're not going to be in pain forever let's bring our palms into heart center and We'll close with our intention. It's the ancient but original intention. Pass from heart to heart through thousands of years. And it's that our practice remain steady, our efforts remain continuous, and that our yoga helps and heals, and it serves and it benefits all beings everywhere. May all beings be safe. May they be happy, healthy, and free. May the thoughts and the actions of each of our lives contribute towards this. Let's finish with an OM sound. We're going to breathe in, breathe out, and breathe in to make the OM. So take a big breath in. Big breath out. Big breath in. much for joining me. Thanks for sharing the space and the practice. The light in me, it sees and it honors the light in you. Thank you. Thank you.